let's get you familiar with the aircraft, a Cessna 152, and a few commands to navigate it through the skies. In front of you is the yoke. The yoke is like a steering wheel, more or less. Turn it left or right to control the ailerons and bank the aircraft into turns. Look at the trailing edge of the wings while turning the yoke to see the effect on the ailerons. Okay. Now, the difference between the yoke and a steering wheel is you can pull or push on the yoke. This controls the elevator at the back of the aircraft to make it climb or descend. Look at the horizontal stabilizer while you pull on the yoke. You can see how it affects the elevator. Nice. Down at your feet are the rudder pedals. They steer the aircraft when you're on the ground. The upper part of the pedals also control your brakes. In the air, they control the rudder at the end of the vertical stabilizer to yaw the aircraft. This is mostly for small corrections, for coordinating turns or compensating for a plane's tendency to pull left during takeoffs and climbs. Look at the vertical tail while operating the pedals to see the effect on the rudder. Great. Last but not least, the throttle is located near the center of the cockpit. Pushing forward will increase power. Pulling back will decrease power. First, look at the throttle and select it. Keep it selected and push it forward to increase power. Power is increased. Now pull it back to decrease power. Power is decreased. Now we'll do the same without focusing on it. Deselect the throttle. Look away from the throttle and increase power. Set your throttle to idle. Excellent. When the engine is on, you'll be able to see the power change on your RPM indicator. You'll find it on the right side of the dashboard. This tells you how fast the engine is spinning in hundreds of revolutions per minute. Next, take a look at your current speed on the airspeed indicator. It's on the left in the main instrument panel. It measures the speed in knots. To check your altitude, look to the altimeter. It's on the right side of the main instrument panel. The altimeter has three hands, similar to a clock. The long, thick pointer indicates 100-foot intervals. The short, thick one is 1,000-foot intervals. And the long, thin one, 10,000-foot intervals. That's all for today. Next time, we'll see how it feels in the air.